Happening now, maybe call it the border surge. Two Republican senators hoping that a plan to boost border security with double the agents, a 700-mile fence, and the use of drones will push a bipartisan bill on immigration across the finish line in the Senate and also garner the support needed in the Republican-controlled House of Representatives. What are the chances? Senator John McCain, one of the so-called Gang of Eight senators who's pushing the immigration bill through the Senate, joins us now live from Phoenix. So uh, you were just telling me during the break, Senator, that the corker Hoven Amendment is in now. The language, the, the, the language is there for everybody to read. Do you like what you see? I do like it. I give great credit to Senator Corker and Senator Hoven for the work that they've done. And uh, I think that this legislation should reassure anyone who is concerned about a lack of security on the border. Is it more than I would have recommended? I, honestly, yes, but we've got to give people confidence. And by the way, if there's anyone who still will argue that the border is not secure after this, then border security is not their reason for opposing a path to citizenship for uh, the people who are in this country illegally. And do you believe you'll get Democratic support as well from this uh, Republican amendment? Uh, we have, yes, we have solid Democratic support. They don't particularly like it, but they are interested uh, in getting this whole uh, issue of comprehensive immigration reform done. And they realize, as we do, that we need additional Republican votes in the Republican Senate so we can send a strong message and hope our friends on the other side of the Capitol will address this issue very seriously. One of the senators who didn't seem to much like it is your fellow Republican John Cornyn of Texas. And based on what the microphone picked up, it sounded like you were pretty close by when he made this complaint. Listen. I was told we don't need more boots, we need technology. Now, I find to my shock and amazement, the distinguished senior senator from Arizona say we need 20,000 more border patrol. How much is it gonna cost? <laughs> yeah. That's the question. Uh, so what about that? What about the cost? Can we, can we afford 20,000 more border patrol agents? Here's why we can, and that's because according to the Congressional Budget Office, over the next 20 years, we're gonna have $700 billion in additional revenue as a result of the passage of this legislation because of the jobs that it creates and the increase in our gross domestic product. So we can afford it. Uh, and I would uh, respond one thing to my friend from Texas. He's against fencing. He says we, he wants to get the border secure, but he's against fencing in the state of Texas. Interesting kind of contradiction. I look forward to continuing my discussion with my friend from Texas. You're thinking he'd be okay with fencing in Arizona, but maybe not in Texas? Is that what you're saying? I, that, that's a, a con con conclusion one might draw. I don't know how he is about fencing in Arizona, but we do need some more fencing, and uh, there are areas where it's, it is absolutely necessary. Uh, and look, this, the, all of these things that succeed are series of compromises without departing from principle. And this principle is that we increase border security, we have a system that makes sure that we verify people who are in this country illegally before they can get a job, and, uh, and, and do a humane but tough path for people to become citizens. All of that requires compromise, and I'm confident that we can get this done because the fact is that there's, a, as you saw my rather calm statement on the floor of the Senate, there are 11 million people who are in this country illegally and are here in de facto amnesty. I say that to one side, and being exploited and mistreated in many ways without the protections that ordinary citizens have. That's why I think they need a, a, uh, a legal status, but a tough, tough path to citizenship. Well, we saw the, the difference in viewpoints between yourself and uh, Texas Senator John Cornyn. What about the states here? I mean, do the states have any individual say in, in how some of these border control um, measures get put in place on their own respective borders? Yes, they do, and in one of the provisions of the bill is if after five years we have not achieved certain goals, that there will be a commission to spend additional funds, and most of the members of that commission will be from states that are affected by or on the uh, Mexico southern border and some on our northern border.
So, uh, again, you're, you're confident that uh, with this corker Hoven amendment that this thing will have the support in the Senate to pass. What about the House? What are you thinking about its prospects there? <clears throat> well, first of all, this legislation already had enough votes, like 60 or 61. But we need as many as possible, particularly Republican senators, to send the right message to the to the House of Representatives. So, um, uh, in the House of Representatives, I don't know. I can't predict. I do know that uh, Congressman Paul Ryan, our our former vice presidential candidate, has come out in support. There are many who are in support of it. Uh, but we, we're going to have to do a, a job of convincing a lot of people. And we're going to have to enlist the help of the business community that we supposedly represent, we Republicans, because the business community is solidly behind this legislation because they know how badly it's needed for America. And we, so we're going to have to enlist a lot of forces, including our evangelical community, who is very supportive as well. Senator John McCain, Republican of Arizona. Thank you.